Welcome to the Toolbox Den. I'm Maria the Toolbox. This is a short instructional video on the CutSoft software that works with the CutFox 10 wire cutting machine. Let's get started. The software is very basic and free to download from our website, phoenixcontact.com. Simply go to the search bar and type in CutFox 10. Select the machine. And here you'll see downloads. You click on downloads. Scroll down to software update. And you want to select the CutSoft v2.1.zip. Please note the software only works with CutFox 10s with a serial number of 231000 or higher. Before you begin, you will want to connect the CutFox 10 to your computer or laptop using an USB RS232 cable converter or USB to VGA 9 pin D sub cable. Once you open the software, you will see four options across the top. Excel template icon to create a project directly in the software program. We'll come back to this shortly. Information transfer icon to send a project to the machine. Settings icon, let's click on it. Here's where you can change the language from English to German. You can change your measurements from inch to metric. And then of course you want to change your COM port. This is, has to do with the cable connected with your machine and um, your laptop or computer. Once you have your settings, you're going to press OK. Going back to the Excel template icon, we'll start by opening a template here. Once you click on it, you'll see that it pops up a template for you. Now I already have one started, so we're going to cheat just a little bit. You want to enter in your title. Here I entered in the cut box and cut soft. And then you want to enter a project number. Please note the software can hold up to 20 projects with a maximum of 100 cutting jobs per project. Please note the software can hold up to 20 projects with a maximum of 100 cutting jobs per project. If you enter a number already stored, a screen will pop up that looks like this telling you the project number is already being used and will indicate what project numbers are available. You will want to name the project or the title here. I put in the toolbox project and this is the rail assembly. Uh, location is the toolbox den and then of course the date. These three additional cells um, are for more information if you wish, but they are not required. Note that your project title and project number are required cells. Underneath it, you will see that you have five columns. The first column is your item number. This is the first cut to be made. The cut box will pause between each line item to allow for collection of the wire and or changing of the wire. The machine will wait for you to tell it to proceed to the next line item. Your second column is the quantity. This is the number of wires at a specific length that you want. So for my example here, I put in three. Your third column here is the length and the unit of measurement is whatever you set it to be in under that settings tab. So in my case here, it's inches. So it's going to be three inches. The fourth and fifth columns are for description. They are optional but they can help you identify jobs in the future as all of the information listed here will show up directly on the display of the machine. As you can see here, this is your display. And then of course, this is the software program. Please note on the right side here, I did note some of the restrictions for this information. Again, please note each row does not have to be the same wire. As I previously stated, the machine will pause between cutting jobs, enabling you to collect the wires or change out the wires if needed. Once the information has been entered, you want to close out and save your file. Now you need to put the machine into the correct mode to accept the job from the software. When the machine is turned on, this display appears. This mode is for cutting wire directly with the machine, a one cut at a time job. The first line is your length, second is quantity, 
and third is the number of cuts completed. To work from the software, press the Mode button. This screen will appear. Now you have three options. Pressing one will take you back to the previous screen, the one cut at a time setting. Pressing three enables you to do one-off manual cuts. And pressing two is for projects coming from the software. Return to the software, select your file, and press Information Transfer button. You see the information is transferring to the machine and you will get a pop-up window that says the transmission was successful. And click OK. When you look back at the display on the Cutbox 10, you will see the information you entered in the software. Press Enter on the machine. A new screen will appear showing you line one in your file. Press Start and the machine will begin the cut. It will then pause before moving to line two in the file. At this point, you could change out the wire if needed. Otherwise, press start and it will process the second cut job. When the job is complete, you will see this screen and you have two options. Either delete the job by pressing C for cancel or save it to the cut box 10. To go back to the main mode, press mode and one. Be sure to save your project either on the machine or in your computer for future use. I hope you found that instructional video helpful. For more information on Phoenix Contact's industrial tooling line, please visit phoenixcontact.com forward slash us dash toolbox. Thanks everyone. Take care.